My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and for today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to talk to you about a technique that I use in every Outlook copy that I have on every laptop. Uh, a lot of people request the ability to recall messages that they send out, and while technically Outlook actually does have a button that says recall on a message. Um, it's not going to work. It really isn't. Um, you're sending messages out to other people on other servers who aren't going to allow you to reach in and grab your email back. And for that matter, let's think about the world we live in today. Of course, people are going to be reading your emails almost instantly because everybody's carrying around their phone and everybody's checking their email instant to instant. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to build in the same technique that Gmail uses to allow you to recall your messages, and that is simply delaying your outgoing emails. On the Home tab at the top of your screen, there's a Rules drop-down menu. <clears throat> and from here, I'm going to go to Manage Rules and Alerts, your last option at the bottom of this. The reason I do this is because it gives me the ability to access all the rules that are available to us, all of the uh, various different little tweaks that we can do to them, whereas the others are sort of pre-built, pre-templatized. So I go to Manage Rules and Alerts, and from the dialog box that opens, I click on the New Rule button in the top left-hand corner, then choose Apply Rule on Messages I Send. So this tool usually uh, is used on emails that are incoming so that you can organize all of those uh, inbound emails. But here we're going to create a rule that automatically executes every time you send a new email. I click on Apply Rule on Messages I Send and then click Next. Now here you could go with a couple of different directions. What this state is asking is what conditions are going to require that we delay the outgoing email. You could say only if the recipient is, uh, let's see here, with uh, specific words in the recipient's address, right? You could say, okay, well, if I'm sending it to some of these really important clients, maybe I want to delay the outgoing email so that I can go back and recall the message just in case. Or you could just leave all of these blank and say, no, I want to delay literally every email I ever send. I'm going to go ahead and leave this empty. Click Next. It says, are you sure you're going to apply this to every single email you send? And I click Yes. Now it asks what I want to do, and the second to last option here is delete, de defer the delivery by a certain number of minutes. So I click on Number of Minutes right down here maybe type in five or something like that and click OK. And so literally every email I send gets delayed by five minutes before it actually goes to uh, the recipient. On the next button, you can actually here set any exception. So maybe it's everybody except. And so here I might go except if the if sent to right and I'll click the checkbox except if sent to and maybe there's a couple of people that I collaborate every day at my office and there's no reason for me to delay emails that go to them if I make a mistake I just say whoops sorry guys I made a mistake right so I'll click the checkbox here for except if it's sent to these people click on people or public group and oh, I'll just go in here and say that James Gene and Steve are all people I collaborate with, email back and forth with constantly, and so delaying delivery of the emails to these people really doesn't mean anything to me. I click OK, and now when I click Next, I just put in here um, five minute delay or something along those lines, and turn the rule on for all outgoing email messages. Click Finish, click OK, and click OK. And now when I go to write a new email, and let's say it's going out to one of my really important clients here, Ravi, for example, and I put in here a test email, right? When I hit send, what's important is that I can at any moment go over here to the out box and for the next five minutes, this email to Ravi Silva is going to be sitting in my out box. If I realize I made a mistake, I double click on the email, I put in here a little bit of a change to the message and click send. And again, it's simply sitting in here waiting for me 
uh, to realize whatever the mistake was. This is the same thing happens when uh, you're on a plane uh, and you're not connected to the internet. It goes ahead and sits in the outbox until the next time you're connected to the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and realize, oops, I actually shouldn't be sending this email to Ravi at all and hit delete and it goes away. And Ravi never sees that email. I never have to worry about recalling that email because it never went to him in the first place.